And let the church say, yeah. Tonight is a special night for me, for you. The wonders of his healing stripes. I can see those wonders upon you right there. A touch tonight. A transformation tonight. Healing tonight. Wonders tonight. Those tears are wiped away. That mountain is going tonight. Every yoke in your life broken tonight in Jesus' name. You will still rejoice. All the times of sorrow and complaint and I'm down, I'm here, I'm there. Tonight something is coming your way. Are you ready? What are you? Father, in Jesus' name. We well, thank you for your glory. Thank you for your majesty. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your power. Thank you for what you are doing tonight. I thank you for everyone that is present. I thank you for those who are still joining us. I thank you, Lord, tonight because you are going to turn every life around. The wonderful stripes of Christ will work for everyone. And all that has done for us on the cross of Calvary tonight, there will be a manifestation in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Take sorrow away. Take sadness away. Break every yoke. Destroy the works of the devil. Every curse you will remove. And put joy in every life. Joy in every family. Joy in their business joy in everything that they touch let tonight be a remarkable night for everyone confirm it in every life lord in jesus name we pray god bless you we're coming to isaiah chapter 53 isaiah chapter 53 from verse 1 who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Revelation tonight. For ye shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He has no form, no comeliness. And when ye shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs, carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. And with his stripes, yourself now. And with his stripes, your family now. And with his stripes, your children now. And with his stripes, and the whole congregation of the people of God now and with his stripes were healed. Tonight we're looking at the efficacy of the healing stripes of Jesus. The efficacy, the power, the effectiveness of the healing stripes of Jesus. In First Peter chapter 2. Reading here from verse 21, 1 Peter chapter 2. Reading from verse 21. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. Underline that. Christ also suffered for us. Was he abused? Christ also suffered for us. Did they spit on him? Christ also suffered for us. 
Did he wear a crown of thorns? Christ also suffered for us. Did they mock him? Christ also suffered for us. Were there stripes laid on him? Christ also suffered for us. Was he crucified? Christ also suffered for us. Did he cry, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Christ also suffered for us. Did he yield up the ghost? When he said, it is finished, Christ also suffered for us. Did they bring him down from the cross? And did they bury him in the tomb? Christ also suffered for us. Leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who when he was reviled, he reviled not again. And when he suffered, he stretched not, but he committed himself to him that judges righteously, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes, by whose stripes, Ye were healed in the past tense, right there on the cross of Calvary, and right there at the weeping post. Every sickness that will ever come to you, it is counted healed already. And tonight is the night of manifestation, tonight is the night of demonstration, tonight is the night of performance. You are healed. Yeah. Who am I talking to? I said you are healed. Yeah. That medical report in your hand, I said you are healed. Yeah. Everything Christ suffered was for our benefit. Everything Christ suffered was for our profit. Everything Christ suffered is to our account. He suffered for our offenses. He suffered for our sins. He suffered for our salvation. He suffered for our justification. He suffered for our redemption. He suffered for our deliverance. He suffered for our reconciliation. He suffered for our righteousness. He suffered for our sanctification. He suffered for our freedom. He suffered for our healing. He suffered for our fullness of blessing. He suffered for our acceptance in heaven. Everything you will ever need from here till eternity. Everything you will ever need from the point you come to Christ until you see him face to face. Every challenge you will ever face Christ has solved your problem already. He knew every crossroad you will get to. He knew every pain that will come to you. He knew every plague that will visit you. He knew every problem that will knock at your door. And right there at the weeping post, and right there on the cross, he was thinking of you. He was planning for you. He was suffering for you. And he bought it all for you. And today we come for the revelation. Today we come for the manifestation. And today we come for the participation. Because it's going to happen. There's no doubt in heaven. There's no doubt in the mind of Christ. There's no doubt in the minds of all the prophets that prophesied about what's going to happen to you today. There's no doubt in my own heart. The only place remaining where I don't know whether there's any doubt is somewhere there. Any doubt over there? I said any doubt over there? Heaven and earth agree. Men and angels agree. Christ and Christians agree. We who are here today and he by the side of the Almighty God, there is agreement 
there's no doubt in any heart there's no doubt in your heart manifestation for you today come back to Isaiah chapter 53 Isaiah chapter 53 and here in verse 5 but he was wounded for what? for our transgression he was bruised for what? for our iniquities the chastisement of whose peace our peace was upon him and thank God I said thank God anybody there I said thank God any sister there please I said thank God any brother there please I said thank God with his stripes it is finished it is done with his stripes we are healed somebody there has got it already the efficacy of the healing stripes of Jesus three things we're looking at number one the efficacious power of his healing stripes the efficacious power of his healing stripes number two the enduring promises from the holy scriptures enduring promises the promises that were given and from the time they were given those promises today are still yes and amen and those promises are still going to work today and those promises are going to be fulfilled in your life tonight because they are enduring everlasting effective promises in the holy scriptures number three the extended possessions of healed sons and daughters after you are healed there's going to be additional miracle multiplication of miracle possession upon your life you turn this way a miracle will hit you there you turn the other way a miracle will explode upon your life as you move forward miracle you look back miracle you'll be surrounded the miracle of power of God even from tonight in Jesus name extension expansion the extended possessions of healed sons and daughters we're coming to number one number one the efficacious power of his healing strives I come to Isaiah chapter 53 again and I'm reading here from verse 3 surely somebody shall surely there's no doubt in heaven surely there's no doubt on the throne of God surely there's no doubt in the manifestation of the power of God coming in from Calvary surely he has born our griefs he has born it's not that he's still thinking of what you do your grief everything is gone and then he has carried our sorrows he carried with some strength and with his two arms and with all the sacrifice everything he did at Calvary he carried our sorrows yet we did a seeming stricken smitten of God and afflicted he was wounded for my transgression I said he was wounded for my transgressions he was bruised for my iniquities the chastisement of my peace was upon him and with his stripes and with his stripes and with his stripes I am healed all we like sheep have gone astray we turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him and the Lord has laid on him it's like you, you need to think about all the sins you ever committed since you were born and then you gather everything together you put them in a big bag and then you lift them up and before you think of carrying them because you cannot carry them Jesus said I'm here I'm here put that on me all your sins put that on me 
all your mistakes put that on me all your offenses put that on me and it says and he has laid the lord has laid on him tell me the iniquity of us all the lord jesus christ had no fault of his own had no sin of his own nothing for which he could have been condemned he was sinless christ he was spotless and lord he was blameless jesus he was faultless that's the savior jesus he was holy he was righteous he was good he went about doing good he was harmless he was perfect every sin is so much it was for you he paid your penalty he paid your penalty look at what it says i'm reading again from the first part of verse 4 surely 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 he has tell me born our griefs he has borne our griefs come to first chronicles chapter 4 first chronicles chapter 4 i'm reading from verse 9 he has borne our griefs and jabez was more honorable than his brethren and his mother called his name jabez saying because i bear him was sorrow whatever has mixed up with your name from the negative side from the side of satan or darkness tonight the grief is gone yeah. look at verse 10 and jabez called on the name of the god of israel saying oh that thou would have blessed me indeed mark that number one miracle for you and enlarge my course mark that enlargement is coming for you yeah. and that thine hand might be with me number three the hand of the lord will be with you yeah. and that thou wouldest keep me from the evil every evil is taken away from your life yeah. look at this look at this that it may not grieve me that it may not grieve me that's what jesus christ has done that was jabez at that time now it is you now it is everyone surely he has borne our griefs anything that is uh, making you to uh, be to grieve the lord is going to take it away today and god granted him that which he requested and god has granted you that which you request tonight in jesus name point number two now the enduring promises from the holy scriptures the enduring promises from the holy scriptures come back to chapter 53 chapter 53 i'm reading from verses 4 and 5 surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of god and afflicted but he was wounded for your transgression he was bruised for your iniquity and the chastisement of your peace was upon him and with his stripes you are healed number one we are healed number one we are healed somebody there make it personal we are healed you are healed look at matthew chapter 8 verse 16 matthew chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 16 matthew chapter 8 verse 16 and when the evening was come like tonight like this evening they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his word he cast out the spirits tell me with with his words and healed how many of them are you going to be healed tonight are you going to have a miracle tonight is your life going to turn around for the better tonight he healed all that was sick why that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Zas the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses come back to chapter 53 isaiah 
chapter 53. I'm reading from verse 6. Isaiah chapter 53. And we're looking at it now from verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Everybody can be saved. The Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. Whosoever will accept that, whosoever will believe that, whosoever will look at it from your eyes of imagination, all your sins, all your faults, all your iniquities, all your evil deeds, everything bundled together and the Almighty God has taken it away from you. I said the Almighty God has taken it away from you. And he has laid everything on Christ. Number two, we are saved. I am saved. I did hear you. First Peter, first Peter, chapter two, verses twenty-four and twenty-five. Who is own self bear our sins, bear our sins, carried our sins, took away our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, were saved, shall live unto righteousness, were saved, by whose stripes ye were healed, for ye were a sheep going astray. But had now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Amen. Do you sense that forgiveness there? Do you feel that forgiveness there? Do you see that salvation there? I see taking that sin away, that heavy load of sin and that heavy load of condemnation. Thank God they are gone. Come back, chapter 53 of Isaiah. I'm reading now from verse 7. Look at verse 7. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep, as a sheep before her shearers. Dumb, so he opens not his mouth. Why? Because he was determined that he will carry this sin for you. He will bear this sin for you. He will take away the sin for you. You're free. I said you're free. Yeah. Number three, we have conquered. I have conquered. What is he? I have conquered. Use the conqueror's voice. It's confirmed in heaven. Look at First Peter chapter two verse twenty one. First Peter chapter two verse twenty one. For even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, for us, for me, for me. You cannot be lost. For me. You cannot remain a sinner. For me, Amen. you will not go to hell. For me, Amen. because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but he committed himself to him that judges righteously. Come back to chapter 53 of Isaiah. I'm reading from verse 8 now. Verse 8, he was taken from prison and from judgment. Who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people for the transgression of my people not for himself for the transgression of my people was he stricken number four i am released i said you are released and that's what he did that's what he did he did it for you he did it for me he did it for us for the transgression of my people was he stricken in first peter chapter 3 verse 18. first peter chapter 3 verse 18 it says for christ also 
has once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, the just for the unjust, the perfect for the imperfect, the holy for the unholy, the righteous for the righteous, that she might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. He did it for you, were released. I am released. I said I'm released. Condemnation is gone. Future judgment is gone. Suffering of hell is gone. Come back, come back. Chapter 53, I'm reading from verse 9. Chapter 53 of Isaiah verse 9. An image is grave with the wicked. Identification. And with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. He's made us righteous. The one who suffered for us, he did no sin. It was for your sin, he died. It was for your sin, he suffered. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, I read him from verse 21. For he has made him to be seen for us. He dealt with him as if he was the sinner. And yet you were the sinner. I was the sinner. But because Jesus took our place, he became our substitute. For he has made him to be seen for us who knew no sin. Look at the end result. Look at the goal. Look at the product. Look at the after effect. Look at the result that we Somebody says that we, that I, might be made the righteousness of God in him. That's the reason why. That's why he suffered. That's why he took all those sins away. We are made righteous. I am made righteous. Come back. I said chapter 53 verse 10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grieve. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Did anybody say amen? amen. We're free. Amen. I said we're free. Amen. Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. Verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Don't complain about curse again. It will not come. Don't be under any yoke on any cause anymore. It will not remain there. Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. For it is written, Cause such is everyone that hangeth on a tree. He bore the curse for you. He set you free. I am free. I said I am free. I know I am free. I confess I am free. I see chapter 53. I'm looking at verse 11. I see 53 verse 11. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge. Shall my righteous servant do what? Justify many. Justify many. You are justified. God looks at you justified as if you had never committed any sin in your life. God looks at you justified. And it says you are acquitted and you are justified. You can go free. Ah, I've lost my people there. It says by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear their iniquities. He shall bear their 
iniquities. He has borne my iniquities. I'm looking at Romans chapter 5 verse 9. Romans chapter 5 verse 9. We're justified. We're justified. We are justified. Romans chapter 5 verse 9. Much more than, much more than being now justified by his blood. We shall be saved from wrath through him. No more wrath. No more final judgment. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. We have received the atonement. I have received the atonement. Chapter 53, verse 12. I see 53, verse 12. Therefore, I will divide him a portion of the great. He shall divide the spoil of the strong. Because he has poured out his soul unto death. He was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many. And made intercession for the transgressors. We are delivered. I am delivered. I am delivered. Praise the Lord. I said I'm delivered. Praise the Lord. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2. We're reading from verse 14. Hebrews chapter 2. Reading from verse 14. Somebody there is delivered tonight. You are delivered freely. You are delivered fully. You are delivered permanently. I said you are delivered permanently. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 2, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might do what? Destroy him that has the power of death, that is the devil. Destroy him out of your life. Destroy him out of your family. Destroy him out of your soul. Destroy him out of your business. Destroy him out of your path as you are moving on. Destroy him that has the power of death, that is the devil. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject unto bondage. Bondage is gone. Delivered, I am delivered. Delivered, I am delivered. What is he? What is she? You are delivered? You believe that? You know that? You are free tonight. Colossians, Colossians, Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1, reading from verse 13. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness. Occultism will not touch you anymore. Principalities and powers will not touch you anymore. Mammoth spirit will not come your way anymore. Those oppressing spirits will not come your way anymore. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us? Has translated us? I, I think I need to put my name there. I has translated me out of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Any free person here tonight? Any liberated person there tonight? Any delivered person there tonight? It is confirmed in Jesus' name. Now, point number three. The extended possessions of healed sons and daughters. Extended possessions. Many times when we come like this, and we're talking about his stripes. 
by his stripes I am healed. We think the healing is coming in isolation. I got healing. I got healing. There's something more. Expansion. Somebody help me talk about expansion. Extension. Somebody there shout extension. Expansion, extension for you tonight in Jesus' name. Genesis, Genesis chapter 20, I'm reading from verse 17. Genesis chapter 20, verse 17. There's healing, there's healing, but there's more. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife. Healed Abimelech and his wife. Look at the extension now. And his maid servants, and they bear children. And they bear children. Not just healing, and they bear children. Miracle children. I said miracle children. You've got it in Jesus' name. Exodus, Exodus chapter 23, Exodus chapter 23. I'm reading here from verse 20. Healing plus, healing and healing with other things chapter 23 and i'm reading here from verse 20 behold i send an angel before thee to keep thee in thy way and to bring thee into the place which i have prepared for you you will not miss your destiny you will not miss divine provision you will not make a mistake to take the wrong road. You will get everything the Lord has ordained for you in Jesus' name. Verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to thine enemies, an adversary to thine adversaries. Verse 25. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. And he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. From inside your brain, sickness gone. Inside your livers, sickness gone. Inside your intestine, sickness gone. Inside your lungs, sickness gone. Inside your bone, sickness gone. Inside the four walls of your house, sickness gone. Verse 26, and there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at this one. And the number, and the number, and the number of thy days I will fulfill. Look up here, look up here. Do you know you will not die young? Do you know you are going to have long, long, long life? Second, second, second Kings. I'm reading him from chapter 20. Second Kings, chapter 20. And I'm reading from verse 5. Second Kings, chapter 20. Remember, healing plus another thing. Healing weighs another thing. Healing and another thing. We're coming to Second Kings chapter 20. And I'm reading from verse 5. Turn again and tell Ezekiel, the captain of my people, thus says the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer. Tonight, your prayers are answered. I have seen thy tears. Behold, Behold, say it now, I will heal thee, and on the third day thou shalt go unto the house of the Lord. Now, healing, thank God for healing, there's addition. There's something, there's something more, there's something more. Somebody say there's something more. And I will add unto thy days, tell me, longevity. I said longevity. I will add, I will add, I will add, what is it? I will add, what is she there? I will add many more years in your life in Jesus' name. 
Look at Psalm, Psalm 103. Psalm 103. I'm reading from verse 1. Bless the Lord of my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all thine iniquities. Who heals all thy diseases. Healing is there. Forgiveness is also there. Forgiveness is added tonight. Guilt will go away. Condemnation will go away. Verse 4. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Accident gone. Disaster taken away. Untimely death cancelled. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? You will meet with mercy everywhere you go. Verse 5. Who satisfy thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles thy youth will be renewed like the eagles renewal will come to you in jesus name psalm 107 psalm 107 psalm 107 i'm reading from verse 20 a healing plus another sin there's extension there's extension to the healing he sent his word and heal them Look at the addition and deliver them from their destructions. Have you got that addition? Psalm 147, Psalm 147, 147. I'm reading from verse 3. There's addition here. Psalm 147, and we're reading from verse 3. It says, He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. He'll bind up your wounds. He telleth the number of the stars and he calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord and of great power his understanding is infinite. Amen. Amen. Proverbs chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 22. Remember, healing with extension. Healing with expansion. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 22, for they are life to those that find them and healing to and healing to all their flesh every part of you little pain here i can tolerate no you will not tolerate pain here today i can manage you will not manage pain here today i can live with it it's not too much no you will not live with it all your flesh, all your flesh, you are going to experience today all the miracle power of the Lord in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 18. Isaiah 57, verse 18. I have seen his ways and I will heal him. You will not escape healing. I will heal him. And I will lead him also. Also, that's an addition. That's an addition. And restore comfort unto him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the least peace, peace to him that is afar off and to him that is near, says the Lord. And I will heal him. Chapter 58, chapter 58. I'm reading from verse 8. Chapter 58, verse 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. A new dawn for you. And thine hell shall spring forth speedily. And thy righteousness shall go before thee. And the glory of the Lord shall be the rear word. Then shall thou call and the Lord shall answer. Tonight answers have come. All those prayers you have been praying for years tonight, answers have come. All the expectation of many years tonight, answers have come. And all the desires of many years tonight, answers have come. Your prayer for yourself, answered. Your prayer for your family, answered. Your prayer for a friend, answered. For your prayer for somebody you are concerned about tonight, answered in Jesus' name. Verse 9, verse 9, verse 9. Then shall thou call, and the Lord shall answer. 
thou shalt cry and he shall say here I am if thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke the putting forth of the finger and the speaking of vanity if thou draw thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul then shall thy light rise in obscurity and the darkness shall be as noon day in your life and the Lord and the Lord and the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make a fat thy bones you are going to add weight spiritually you'll be witchy Financially, you'll be bulky. Yeah. Business-wise, you will prosper. Yeah. Shall make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden. Yeah. And like a spring of waters, whose waters fail not. They that be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. Thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. Progress has come. I said, Your progress has come. Jeremiah chapter 30, Jeremiah chapter 30, I'm reading from verse 17, Jeremiah chapter 30, and I'm reading here from verse 17, for I will restore health unto thee, I will heal thee of thy wounds, says the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after, thus says the Lord, behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents and have mercy on his dwelling places and the city shall be builded upon its own heap and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof and out of them out of them he's talking about this congregation out of them it's you he's talking about I said it's your family is talking about. Yeah. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Yeah. And the voice of them that make merry. Yeah. And I will multiply them. Yeah. And they shall not be few. Yeah. I will also glorify them. Yeah. And they shall not be small. Yeah. Their children also shall be as a full time. And their congregation shall be established before me. And I will punish all that oppress them. I will punish all that oppress them. Jeremiah chapter 33. Jeremiah chapter 33. I'm reading from verse 6. Healing plus. Healing ways. Healing and. There's extension. In Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6 Behold, I will bring it health and kill I will kill them And will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return I will build them as at the first I will cleanse them from all the iniquity whereby they have sinned against me i will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me and it shall be to me for a name of joy a praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth which shall hear all the good that I do unto them and they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity 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 that I proclaim that I procure unto it it has happened already I said it has happened already Come now, come now to Malachi, Malachi, end of the Old Testament, Malachi, I'm reading here from chapter 4, Malachi chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 2, but unto you that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth 
and grow up as calves of the stall. Any amen? amen. Look at Third John. Third John, I'm reading from verse 2. Third John, reading from verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things tonight. I pray above all things tonight. I desire above all things tonight. I believe above all things tonight that thou mayest prosper. Somebody there tonight prospering. That thou mayest prosper and be in health. Sickness gone. Infirmity gone. Impotency gone. Infertility gone. All the pains and all the plagues are gone. It says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. Even as thy soul prospereth. Even as thy soul prospereth. Now is your time. It's my time. I said it's my time. Isaiah chapter 65, Isaiah chapter 65, I'm reading from verse 24, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24, and it shall come to pass, that before they call, I will answer, and it shall come to pass, that before they call, I will answer, and it shall come to pass, that before you call, he will answer, and while, and while, and while, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear it's tonight. Brother, I said it's tonight. Sister, I said it's tonight. While they are yet speaking, answer is coming. The heavens are opened. The doors are opened. The windows are opened. Rains of miracle. Rain of miracle. Showers of blessing. Where is it coming? I say, where is it coming? I say, where is it coming? I say, where is it coming? Why don't you tell the Lord? Why don't you tell the Lord? Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. By his stripes, I am healed. By his stripes, I am healed. By his stripes, I am healed. It's tonight. It's tonight. It's tonight. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. He bore your griefs. He bore your griefs. He carried your sorrows. He was stricken because of you. He was meeting because of you. He was afflicted because of you. And all the affliction you carry, all the afflictions you have, everything is gone tonight. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, tell the Lord. Tonight you are free. Tonight you are free. Tonight you are free. Because Christ has borne everything for you. He was wounded for you. He was bruised for you. Chastised for you. He was scorched for you. Accept that tonight. That's a fact. Believe that tonight. That's a fact. Surely, surely, surely. He has borne our grief. Surely, he has carried our sorrows. Surely, he was meeting and stricken. Surely he was afflicted for us. Surely he was chastised for us. Surely all we like sheep have gone astray. And the Lord has laid upon him. And the Lord has laid upon him. And the Lord has laid upon him. The iniquity of us all. It's money for you. Don't carry the guilt. The condemnation of sin. Drop it at the foot of Christ. The Lord, the Father, God in heaven has laid on him your iniquity, your infirmity, your condemnation, your guilt, your penalty, your punishment. The Father has laid that on Christ. Accept that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am free. He's taking your sin. He's taking your guilt. He's taking your condemnation. It's laid each on Christ. You are taking your weakness. Your weakness. It's laid it on Christ. And now he says, You're forgiven. Go and sin no more. 
You are healed. Go and sin no more. You are delivered. Go and sin no more. He bore it all for you. He took everything in your place as your substitute. Free from sin. Free from sickness. Free from suffering. Free from sorrows. Free from Satan, serpents, and scorpions. They won't walk over your body anymore. Christ has borne everything for you. He set you free. Set you free. Guilt is gone. Condemnation is gone. Thank Him. Praise Him. Rejoice for the forgiveness, for the salvation, for the deliverance, for the liberation. Freedom, total freedom. Receive it tonight. You're healed. Believe it tonight. You're saved. Accept that tonight you have conquered. Confess it tonight. You are released. He that knew no sin was made the sin offering on your behalf. That there can be an exchange. And then you become the righteousness of God in him. Made righteous. Set free. Taken out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Principalities and powers have no hold upon your life anymore. Evil spirits have no hold upon your life anymore. Satanic power, oppression, affliction will have no power over you anymore. Oppressive spirits in the dream and the night will have no authority over you anymore. Curse, yoke will not be part of your life anymore. Free, justified. Delivered from one from the one that has the power of death, he sets you free. He gives you healing plus miracle children. He gives you healing plus protection. He gives you healing plus long life. Gives you healing plus strength. Gives you healing plus deliverance. Gives you healing plus wholeness. Gives you healing plus peace, prosperity, and power. Gives you healing plus progress. Gives you healing plus renewal, plus revival, plus righteousness, plus spiritual resurrection, plus restoration, gives you healing, plus breakthrough, overcoming power, overcoming strength, healing, with extension, healing with expansion. Believe and praise the Lord. Sorrow is gone, joy has come. Grief is gone, gladness has come. 
free. I'm free indeed. Free your soul. Free your spirit. Free your body. Liberated from every oppression. Free. Completely free. There's no doubt in heaven that you are free. There's no doubt with Christ that you are free. There's no doubt in the heart of a Father God that you are free. There's no doubt in the prophets of the Bible that you are free. There's no doubt in my heart over here that you are free. There's no doubt in your heart. There's no doubt in your own heart that you are free. In Jesus' name we pray. Those who are healed, I said in Jesus' name we pray. Those who know that any problem you brought here tonight, you cannot take them back home, let them say Amen. Look at the person beside you there and say, I have a testimony. Tonight, tonight, I have a testimony. There is joy in my heart. Tell them. There's assurance in my soul. Tell them. I'm going back home different tonight. Tell them. Now, raise up those hands. It's coming. I said it's coming. Yours is coming. Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you for every soul, every member, every invitee, everyone here tonight. Lord, I thank you. The heavens are opened already. Lord, I thank you. The fulfillment of the reason for the stripes on Jesus is happening tonight. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. Sister, you are free in Jesus' name. Every sickness in your body, every infirmity in your body, every pain in your body, I command, come out in Jesus' name. That's what Jesus died for. He has paid the whole price. He carried everything away. Your grief carried away. Your sorrow carried away. Your pain carried away. Your disease carried away. Your infertility carried away. Your barrenness carried away. Your poverty carried away. Your shame carried away. Your tears carried away. Your yoke body carried away. The cause carried away. Be free in Jesus' name. Lord, touch everyone. Transform everyone. Miracle for everyone. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Put testimony in every mouth. Joy in every mouth. Laughter in every mouth. Miracle. 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 Deliverance. Freedom. Liberation. Prosperity for everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, confirm it in every life. I thank you because I know it's done. I know it is done. I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray.